Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here to announce yet another project. And the next one I have in mind is going to be card and dice football with customized teams where I will play every team in every game and keep all the stats. So it's going to be an extensive project. Um, as you may or may not know, I have tons of baseball seasons. I have almost every baseball season that Strat has ever made. But for football, I only have 2008. So I thought to myself, well, I've already taken the 2008 Bears through a re-simulated season and finished, I think, one game better than they actually did and made the playoffs. Um, I think it was one game better, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, so I thought to myself, well, I've already done that, and I don't really want to pick another team and then play their schedule. That's not really, I mean, it was 2008, which was kind of a nondescript year anyway. So then it occurred to me, you know what I could do? I could uh, just randomize all of the players, all of the um, specialist cards, and all of the defenses, and put them on like 12 different teams, which is exactly what I did, 12 different teams. So that, you know, you can have three quarterbacks, you can have a lot of depth. And um, so I just made three random teams, or 12 random teams, by rolling a 12-sided die for every player as I came across them assign them to a different team. So I have two conferences, the AFC and the NFC, six teams, two will be named after USFL teams, and then uh, the other ten will be named after NFL teams, actual NFL teams, a couple um, named after NFL teams from the past, as you will see. But that having been said, I will get into the conference breakdowns and the players and cards that, ha that were assigned randomly to every team so that you can see what all of, who, who will be on every one of the teams and what teams will be in the league. So let's get on with that. <laughs> So here we go with my presentation on the teams and the breakdowns of the yeah, of the league. So here you got the NFC, six teams. Again, the players were randomly assigned to the teams. You got the Chicago Bears, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Dallas Cowboys, Detroit Lions, Green Bay Packers, and San Francisco 49ers. Then in the AFC, six teams, again, the players and the cards randomly assigned to each team, Baltimore Colts, Pittsburgh Steelers, Cleveland Browns, New York Jets, the Michigan Panthers, and the New Jersey Generals. Had to throw those in. So this is what the Bears will look like. And I wanna, also I wanna stress that as far as team defenses, I didn't mix up the team defenses. I assigned an entire team defense. It's just going to be easier to keep track when I start playing. So the New York Jets, the Bears have the New York Jets special teams card. They have the Philadelphia Eagles defense card, which was average to good and excellent. They Their quarterbacks are Jason Campbell of the uh, Redskins for that year. Sean Hill, I think, was on the Buccaneers and Brett Favre, who was on the Jets this particular year. Had his usual year, it was good, a lot of yards passing, a lot of touchdowns, but he also had a lot of interceptions. Running backs will be Deuce McAllister, Kevin Falk, Jamal Charles, Deshaun Foster, Jerome Harrison, and Julius Jones, and the receivers will be Larry Fitzgerald, Mushin Mohammed, Torrey Holt, Justin Gage, 
and the tight ends will be Desmond Clark, who was actually on the Bears in 2008 and is the only guy on this list who is an actual Bear, and then David Martin. Here's the 49ers. I'm not going to go down and read every team, every, every player on every team. I mean, I'll let you read for yourselves, you know, who is on each team. But, um, yeah, this is the uh, 49ers. And uh, they look like they, uh, you know, I don't know that the 49ers are going to be all that good. I mean, Eli Manning is probably their best quarterback. And uh, their receivers, well, they got good receivers. Um, Tony Gonzalez at tight end, Randy Moss, Terrell Owens. Um, but Eli Manning at quarterback and uh, running the best running back hands down is Maurice Jones-Drew. So I don't know. We'll see. The Green Bay Packers. And these are the teams and cards that the Packers will have. Um they're going to have Jay Cutler. Now, this was a good Jay Cutler. This was Jay Cutler with the Broncos. And so he was very good that year. And they also have Tony Romo in case he starts out the year, you know, on a bad note. Um, Dallas Clark was an excellent tight end. Excellent. So they got a great tight end, too. We'll have to see how that translates for them. But their defense... Um, Oh, yeah, and their defense is excellent against both. So the Packers are going to be a tough team. The Detroit Lions. And so here's who the Lions will have. And they have the Cincinnati defense, which was average to good against both, and Drew Brees and Peyton Manning. Wouldn't you love to have that embarrassment of riches? So it's going to be tough to beat the Lions. I tend to think I would start Brees, but... You always have Peyton Manning. Maybe a trade is coming down the line here uh, to even up some uh, some team that doesn't really have a great quarterback. Because uh, it's kind of a waste to have those two on the same team. But again, as I said, it was randomly assigned. And that's, what, that's something that can happen when you do that. Um, so, and the running game is not really all that great. So this is going to be a definite passing team. The Dallas Cowboys will have the Oakland special teams card and the Minnesota defense. So they're excellent versus runs and average to good versus the pass. So there's going to be a lot of good teams to contend with um, in the NFC. I expect the NFC to be closely packed. Um, you got D'Angelo Williams and LaDainian Tomlinson as running backs. Reggie Wayne and Anquan Bolden as receivers and Donald Driver. So that'll be interesting to see. And now you got the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, who actually ended up with the Philadelphia special teams card um, and the Baltimore defense card. Again, excellent versus run and good versus pass. So another team in the NFC with a good defense. But their quarterbacks are David Girard, Trent Edwards, and Matt Schaub. So this is a team that could definitely use Peyton Manning, maybe a trade coming down. We'll have to see about that. that I'm open to the idea of doing that. Their running backs, Matt Forte, who was on the Bears that year, Derek Ward, Jonathan Stewart, Tim Hightower, Montel Owens. So they have nondescript tight ends, so they won't probably be passing to the tight ends. Now we're on to the AFC and the New Jersey Generals, and they will have the San Diego uh, Chargers specialist card. They'll have the San Diego Chargers defense, and they will have Phillip Rivers. Yes, I am not making this all up. It was all random, and they still ended up with Rivers, the San Diego defense, and the San Diego specialist card. And they also have Matt Cassell and uh, Brad Johnson. A note, you will not see Tom Brady because Tom Brady did not play this year. He was injured for most or all of the year. And uh, I think he only had a few passes in the first game and he was injured for the season. Um, but they've got Marshawn Lynch and Fred Jackson at running back. Willis McGahee, remember him? And then receivers, Wes Welker, Heinz Ward, Derek Mason. 
and Greg Olson at tight end. That, this team is a pretty good team. They're going to be a force in the AFC, I think. Got the Michigan Panthers. Uh, this is the uh, players that they have. Roethlisberger is their quarterback. The backups are nothing to write home about. So Roethlisberger needs to stay. Well, he will stay healthy. I don't have injuries. I won't be playing with injuries. I'll be doing the basic game. So um, so that that's who they have. Chris Cooley, excellent tight end that they're going to have. Here's the New York Jets. The Jets will have the Houston special teams card and the Washington defense, which was average against both. And they'll have Kurt Warner at quarterback. So they're going to, the sparks are going to be flying. And Isaac Bruce and Steve L. Smith as receivers. And Marvin Harrison. So this team is going to be lighting up the scoreboard for sure. The Cleveland Browns will have the Seattle specialist card. The New York Giants defense, which is average to good versus both. Um... Donovan McNabb at quarterback, and then Bulger and Tavares Jackson. So, again, McNabb, the clear starter here. And Adrian Peterson at running back. Um, yeah. And Heath Miller, who was an excellent tight end, again. The Pittsburgh Steelers, I think, are going to be the team that wins the AFC, if I had to call it. Even despite their defense, they're poor against the run and good versus pass, uh, the Oakland defense. But... Um, they have Aaron Rodgers at quarterback, Clinton Portis, um, and Joseph Adai at running back. And the receivers are Brandon Marshall, Kelvin Johnson, Greg Camarillo, and, and Steve Breston. And Jason Witten at tight end. This team is stacked offensively. Um, but the offset with them will be that they are poor against the run. So you should be able to run against the team. Uh, but still... If you're running against this team and they have the passing that they've got, they're going to outscore you. So we'll see how that works out, too. Then you got the Baltimore Colts. Here's who they have. They have the Chicago defense, which is good to excellent versus runs and poor versus passes. And Matt Ryan, at quarterback, with backups Kyle Orton and Chad Pennington. Pennington wasn't too bad, so... We'll have to see. I'll start probably start the year with Ryan at quarterback for them, but it could be Pennington if he isn't getting the job done. Uh, not really big name running backs though. Um, receivers Hushman Zada and Lee Evans are very good, as was Josh Reed, and of course Antonio Gates is a very good tight end. And Kellen Winslow Jr. His father was probably better. But we'll leave that for a, a different discussion. And so that's it. That's the teams. What do you guys think? Remember, share, like the video, and comment. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And there's my contact information as well. Really like to hear what your guys' opinion of the, uh, of the league will be. Again, I'm going to play every game. So it's going to take a while to play this season. Because I'm going to have to play six games for every single week. And... Um, that's going to be time consuming because whereas the baseball only takes me like 25 minutes maybe to play a card and dice um, strat baseball, it ta it'll take like 40 to 45 minutes to play every football game. So, um, and I do intend, if you watched the Bears season that I did, there was no penalties, but I do intend in this league to have penalties. So we're going to have to see how all of that works out. Um, but I'm interested to see um, how it how it goes and keeping all the stats. So there's like behind the scenes time that's going to be involved. But I'm going to give it a shot. And uh, hopefully you guys will like that. And uh, I intend to start the season probably at some point after I'm done with the computer um New Jersey general season that I'm doing. And I've already played, I think, through week eight. So I'm halfway through that schedule. So there's only eight more weeks to go in that and then maybe the playoffs. So when that's done, I'll switch to this. Still a little bit more set up to do with this anyway. I got to get the schedule done. Um, but I'm liking this idea. I'd be interested to hear what everyone thinks about it. 
and whether you'd be really anxious to see this season start. But for right now, that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.